Holy ship. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Hello and welcome back to Movies and Coffee with me, Tom. Today we are watching Ghost Ship from 2002. Why am I watching this? It's a, it's a rare horror film I haven't seen. Horror is pretty much my favourite genre, so why haven't I seen this? I think it's because, like, isn't the main star the nurse from ER, <laughs> basically? So I think when it came out, it was like, oh, horror story, who's in it? Um, that nurse from ER. Right. So that's basically why I haven't seen it, just like a snobby kind of like, mm, she's not a star. Which seems silly, because I've watched far worse with, like, no stars. Well, I think Emily Browning's in it, and it must have been, like, her one of her first roles because the first thing I saw her in was Lemony Snicket which was 2004. Uh, most people probably know her from Sucker Punch which is an awesome movie it's a, but it's a guilty pleasure you know objectively it's a terrible movie but <laughs> I love it. Yeah so it's a horror movie with Emily Browning and Juliana Margulies I hope I'm saying her name right. That's really all I know so let's dive in. Uh, if you like what you see like, share, subscribe, it really helps my channel. If you want to watch the full video, you can watch it on Patreon. So yeah, without further ado, let's check out Ghost Ship. This music is very happy for a horror film. This is very jaunty, it's like I'm watching The Mask. Not some creepy 18 rated horror film. Okay. Juliana Margulies, I was right. So what's this, 1940s? Carl Urban. Emily Browning. Gabriel Byrne. So quite a few well-known actors, actually. Wow, she's young. It's like, yeah, you're gonna die. Is this an actual singer? Because if it is, I don't recognise her. I'm sure people will tell me if it, if it is. Yeah, the music and the font are just weird. <laughs> it's a weird tone so far. I'm not gonna lie, it's very TV movie so far. Those edits, just... <laughs> oh. Okay, why? That's a pretty elaborate way to kill a whole bunch of people. Ah, uh, the old, you're not dead until you move gag. Ooh. I want to see that man's underpants, thank you very much. Jesus Christ. Let's start to see what's an 18, or rated R in America, I guess. Oh, right through the face. Wait, why is she not dead? Oh, because she's like small. Can't hold her much longer, Mercy. I was healing, she's taking on weight. Urgh, don't say present day, it's not present day. This was made in 2002. Anyway. Apps, get off Go. my damn toko. We don't have much time. We. So I'm guessing these guys are like salvages, maybe even pirates. Get back here! Come on, Abs! Why is it so dramatic? <laughs> wow, just flying through scenes here. I did it, guys! <laughs> I'm getting Man of Medan vibes. Do you ever play that game? Oh, this guy. I forget his name, but he's in a bunch of stuff. Last month, it came across this. Is it a ghost ship? What? Oh, oh. What kind of tonnage is it? Big. Could be military. Well, it's very clearly an ocean liner. It's not military, is it? What's in it for you? I want 20% finder see whatever she's worth. This isn't sketchy at all, just learning about a job in a bar from a stranger. I got the fiancé waiting on me, remember? Well, he's going to die, because he just said he had someone waiting for him. <laughs> what do you think a ship like that could be worth? Millions. Hey, ferryman, can you come over here? Ferryman to the dead, as it were. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. Well, most of them are probably going to die, but not Gabriel Byrne and Juliana Margulies, because they're like the stars. I come with you, so you take it or leave it. No, thank you. What could possibly go wrong? He's just going to drive straight into it, isn't he? What's a nice girl like me doing in a dump like this? Simple. I own a third of Murphy's operation. Not that nice. Get up here. I think you should see this. Maybe turn down the music before you use the com. Right? Oh, you see what I'm saying? This is Tugboat Arctic Warrior. Shit. Told ya. You amateur. Ooh, almost got squished. 
Yeah, I wonder if Man of Medan was inspired by this, actually. An ocean liner? Where did that come from? That's what you were looking for, you muppet. You were literally looking for it. It's the Antonio Graza. The Antonio Banderas? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hello? Anybody home? Funny if it was a typo and it's just a, a boat full of goats instead of ghosts. She was reported missing on the 21st of May, 1962. No contact. She just disappeared. She was gone. But we know the girl survived and not everyone would have been like at the ball. There would have been other people, officers on the ship. So like, there must be at least other people alive. or well, there was. She's still a beard. Unbelievable. Do you think they used to like a real full size, like wrecked ship for this? I mean, it's not like a, a model as far as I can see. Lifeboats are gone. Stern to bow. Let's go. Okay, if this film scares me even once, I'll be pleased. Murphy, come in. Also kind of reminds me of Deep Rising. I'm Julie. I'll be your hostess this evening. <coughs> no, didn't get me. How many passengers did she carry? Over 600. Crew of 500 from Italy. A crew of 500 and there's 600 people on the ship. What? This companion way should get us to the bridge. Was Emily Browning so bored that she decided to kill everyone? Because we've all been to parties like that, haven't we, to be honest? After you? Oh, no, 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 no. After me. Oh. <laughs> okay, the actual ship is pretty, like, it's a cool set. You expect some scary shit to go down. <laughs> it's not that far. Oh, she's totally evil. I totally called that. My pants! <laughs> you always smell that way. Well, if everything's rotting, if he had fallen down, like, he'd probably been a pretty soft floor. Don't know what he was crying about, to be honest. Compass is dead. Whatever happened to Ron Eldard? I haven't really seen him in anything recently. Oh, he was in Super 8. That's probably the last thing I saw him in. Are you okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Check this out. Wait a minute. They didn't have digital watches in 1962. Is it from the last crew who boarded and got killed by Emily Browning? Or well, it could be this guy's watch. You ever heard of a ship called the Mary Celeste? No. You haven't heard of the Mary Celeste? She Idiot. Unless he's like playing stupid because he lured them here for some reason. What do you make of that? Of course, yeah. Is this like the old horror trope of the haunting where the grown up goes back to the place where they were as a kid and they don't remember it and there's this whole connection thing? You seem quiet since you came back. Is she like the daughter of Emily Browning or... I think I, shouldn't call you I, don't. I think I saw a little girl. And then what happened? Nothing, she disappeared. Well, the girl looked about like 10 years old and that was 1962. So like, yeah, it could be her mother, maybe. She's sinking. We've got three days to fix it. That's if the weather holds. Yeah, what could happen in three days? Creepy ghost children just murder everyone. I'll call her. I wouldn't do that if I was you, Grim. We just don't want any unexpected guests. What are the chances someone's going to destroy the radio mysteriously? Make sure we've got no more problems before we get to work. Okay. They're definitely going to blow up the ship. I mean, I mean like the whole ship, because they've just shown us C4. I've seen enough films to know when you show a box of C4, some shit's going to get blown up. Not, not exactly dressed for like salvage operation, are they? It's like no waterproof clothing or anything. <laughs> At least she's wearing gloves. What did she find? Bullet holes or something? Oh, was it the previous salvages and they like were firing at ghosts? Ah! How? Holy ship! I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Or oh, are these all, all the crew, are they um, like reincarnations of people who died on the ship or something? I'm probably overthinking this way too much. Epps, the engine room is totally flooded. Can you hear me? I mean, if nothing else, the sets are pretty impressive. You okay? Do not trust this guy. He's brought you all here to die. Looks like someone used a target practice. I saw that little girl again. That's not right. Why are there like ripple reflections? They're not underwater. That makes no sense. Are you sure we need to... <laughs> After all the creepy stuff you've seen, you're only now like realizing people died here. 
You saw like bullet holes in the pool. Is it gonna break out into a song? Once I was afraid, I was petrified. What the? Suspicious. There's something moving in there. It's a rat. I'm not falling for your cheap tricks. Okay, it's about 20 rats. Look at this. Oh, is that gold? A rat's drawn to gold? It's my first name. Die, 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 die. Don't go in there. It's the first clever thing you've said. And they just f with her. You wanna hear something funnier? We just found a bunch of dead guys floating in the laundry room. And this. Yeah, gold is quite heavy. You wouldn't you wouldn't just go. You'd be like. Cha ching <laughs> We're rich! Is it cursed gold? Is this like a Raiders of the Lost Ark situation where we're all gonna just get their faces eaten because they touched it? Faces melted, sorry. Somebody didn't want this gold to be traceable. They stole it. When I was doing my recon, I could swear I heard a woman's voice singing to me. And also, I don't know if it's due to limited budget, but the ghosts aren't like, they don't look like gory or scary, or they just like, look slightly pale. I said we get our boat going, grab the gold, and get the hell out of here, okay? I agree. Makes sense. Korea, get those engines going. I'm bringing the gold down. Yes, sir, Captain, sir. I think a box of gold is going to get dropped on someone. Baby, and you? Uh -oh. No! oh wait, she is she a good person? And British apparently. Just out of him! <laughs> okay. Santos. Santos is dead. So it seemed like she was trying to warn them. Interesting. Alright, here's the plan. I say we do what we do best. We fix this rust bucket. Greer? Had Murphy let me do it my way from the start, we wouldn't even be in the situation right now. Bro, uh, okay. Oh! That dude needs to take a chill pill. It's like, it wasn't her fault you blew up the boat. It's your fault, if anything, for not checking a propane. Also, if you don't fix the hull, then you're going to sink. So, like, you don't really have a choice now, either way. Katie, you're alone. I screwed up. I should have called it in. I'll make it home to you, babe. I swear. Well... Wow, you got to try that. That's good. Katie. Why are you wandering around a dark ship by yourself when at least one person has died? There's something on your... Uh, it's the old, you think you're eating nice food, but it's rotten gag. Katie? Creeper doll, of course. Oh, maybe they were sisters. Maybe she was travelling to meet up with the rest of her family made up of... Juliana Margulies. It's her long lost sister, who apparently nobody told her about. Okay. That's kind of cool. Why are they clapping him? It's very, it's trying to be the shining on a boat, isn't it, basically? I know all of this isn't real. I'm just gonna go with it, okay? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Beautiful woman wants to dance with me. Why not? Dude, it's gonna be a gross, like, again, like the shiny, it's gonna be a gross mummy or something. Oh, that's dark. Is she like the only one left alive, so she like, hung herself. Ah! I knew it. They're related. But she's not British. They moved to New York. I was on my way to join them. Oh, okay. That explains the American accent. You should have this back. <laughs> That's my favourite line so far. <laughs> he was adrift. We rescued her. The gold was on board the Lorelei. Where are you going? We got naked ghosts now. He's like, yeah, I'll just go with it. I mean, he literally said that. We're all trapped here. Who? My shipmates and I. When he has all the souls he needs, we'll all be ferried. What's wrong? You must go at once! It's no fun lying a mile down the bottom of the ocean. Dumbass. Also, that's clearly a stunt, man. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. She's dead, dude. Dumbass. Totally called it. Rotten old woman ghost thing. Murphy. 
be safe here. Keep him in the aquarium. He didn't know what he was doing. So whoever did this is collecting souls for some reason. Who was at the heart? Found it. Belonged to this little girl. She told me to get off this boat. She's also my sister. Fine then. Keep your secrets. We stick with the plan. Fix the boat. I was going to say, so far there hasn't been any fixing of said boat. He's been wandering around the corridors following naked ghosts and things. Arming the C4. Contact. Wait, so that was all sealed off, but you blew it up to get to the hole. That makes no sense. Okay, we're set with the pump down here. I give it 12 hours till she's bone dry. That's what she said! <laughs> Damn, current's faster than I thought. Pretty sure that's a photograph. <laughs> Nothing was moving in that shot. Greer! Hey sis, what you doing? Greer! Come with me. No thank you. I want to show you something. No! What is this music? Why have we got funky beats to a ghostly flashback? It's a choice. It's a bad choice. That doesn't make any sense because she's obviously way above waist height and people got cut off at the waist. And she's like up here on that guy. Okay, so the crew planned to kill everyone and take the gold. Okay. Two double crosses in two seconds. Now he's going to kill her. Oh, this music, Jesus Christ. That's a very elaborate way to kill someone. Could have just shot her, dude. Wait a minute. That's the guy that brought them there. So he can leave the ship and just wander about, apparently. Murphy! Oh, he did. He got prestiged. So there's, what, three of them left alive. The two idiots and her. Oh, and that guy. But he's kind of dead. Murphy's dead. What? We have got to get off this boat now. There is a reason why the three of us are still alive. That's why he came after us. To fix his ship. What's happening? So he could get off the ship, but he wanted to get people to come back and fix his ship. Okay. I'm going to get Munder. I want you both to stay here till we get back. You understand? Wait, but she knows he's the evil dude. Okay, so this is Carl Urban. Bye-bye, right. dude. I was going to say, why didn't she just kill him? But I guess if he's dead already, then she just would have like played her hand too soon. Squishy, squishy. I'm going to go check on Abs. No, you're not. She said to wait here. I don't have time for this. You live for it. You're willing to die for it. It's already dead. So is she like trying to sink the ship now after having fixed it? I shot Perriman. He's dead. No, he's not. I'm sinking the boat. It's taken its last victim. That gold can give us everything we ever wanted. We could have a life together. Okay, at no point in this film has he made any kind of insinuation that he liked her. He's in love with that, now he's calling her a Okay. Which one is it? Well, I Oh, I see. You're not gonna pull that trigger, Maureen. Try me. Why are you still talking? Pull the trigger. You collect ships, I collect souls. All you have to do is fix the ship! Kablamo! See, I called that as well at the beginning. I was like, they're totally going to blow up the ship. But he's already dead, so like, I don't see how blowing him up kind of makes any difference. I guess he can't reach his quota now, so they're all... Oh, okay, he got taken to hell for punishment and they got set free. Okay, I think I know what's going on. Ah, uh, she's the final girl, of course. She gets home, she's like, uh, Mom, why didn't you tell me I used to have a sister who died on a f***ing ghost ship? <laughs> Would have been helpful to know. The guy's not dead, it's going to be some kind of sting. He's going to be a paramedic or something. Oh, okay, so the gold. He goes where the gold is. Wait, how did they get the gold? No! What? They went back and found the ship. Went miles below the ocean and retrieved the gold. At the... What? What? Okay, so that was Ghost Ship. Yeah, it was kind of what I was expecting. I was expecting like, you know, a guilty pleasure B-movie and I, I got that. It wasn't scary at all. Um, 
but the the setting on the ship was pretty cool gonna have to read up if they like used an actual like vessel that was wrecked and they just rather than build like a polystyrene set just get an old ship that would make more sense the script wasn't great i mean a lot of it didn't make sense i mean the trope of like a crew wandering around alone with a flashlight that's like every horror film ever so that was fine that was understandable but like the dialogue was pretty bad acting was pretty bad but again like with dialogue like that i think no one did it for the art they did it for the paycheck aspect i mean the opening was quite strong and it was quite or it tried to be shocking and, and gory and you're kind of like wow why did that happen but then you're like no actually the crew were just trying to steal some gold and like why didn't they just shoot everyone i was like who knows? Yeah, this thing about the Desmond Harrington, I think it was called. His plan to get like a, he had to get a hundred, I don't know, a hundred souls or whatever, and take them back to hell and get a reward or something. That was like, yeah, sure, sure, man. <laughs> it makes no sense. And and the stinger at the end. I mean, maybe I missed something. I'm sure people will tell me if I did. But like, the ship sinks with the gold. Julianne Margulies drifts for. I assume at least a couple of days from the look of her. That ship picks her up, somehow goes back to where the ship sunk, goes down, retrieves the gold, and then takes them both to land. Right. But I mean, this isn't the kind of film where you like take everything seriously. I get that. But at the same time, like, ah, oh, the the music choice. It, it was like so early two thousands, but like. The flashback sequence where he kind of learned what actually happened was actually quite cool. But they put this like weird, funky dance track to it. It's like, what the hell? Why would you use that music? Yeah, the editing, the like sped up shots and the, oh, it, it, it was bad. It was bad. It was very bad. <laughs> but I mean, I was entertained because it was so bad. It's like, you kind of saw every cliche coming i was entertained to be fair i mean i know i'm shitting all over this film but i was entertained in the this is so bad it's kind of fun way um so if you're a fan of this film don't be offended there are plenty of shit films that i love <laughs> yeah you could you could just tell this was a, a paycheck film they're just having fun like carl urban and ron eldard i mean they must have read the script and been like jesus christ oh but we get paid how much okay um, which is fair enough, you know, when you're starting out, you take crappy horror films to pay the bills. That's how it works. I think this came out around the same time as other, I don't know if they're Dark Pictures films, which I think was like a sub company by Robert Zemeckis and a few other people to make like remakes of like Vincent Price era, kind of like cheapy horror films. So I think they remade 13 Ghosts and... Was it House on Haunted Hill around the same time? I think I've seen both of those. Uh, I think I felt pretty much the same way as Ghost Ship. Um, they were kind of like guilty pleasures at best. But yeah, I'm always up for a horror film. And like I said, I did kind of, I wonder if um, the video game Man of Midan, which is a dark pictures game, which is interesting because the, I was just talking about the production company, I think it was also called Dark Pictures, dark something anyway. Um, so I wonder if that, Video game was inspired by this film in particular. If you haven't played that game, it's quite cool because it's actually, you know, you wander around a ship and there's ghosts and stuff and it's far more scary than this film. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.